Now, obviously, don't do this to yours. Don't try this at home. All right, so today I've got something that's quite exciting and slightly sentimental. As many of you know, I'm solo in the studio. The team is on their own, given the current state of affairs here in 2020. Everybody's split up, and for good reason. You know the whole story. Uh, but that doesn't mean the guys haven't still been uh, behind the scenes, you know, taking care of business, as they would be, particularly Willie Do, who is responsible for this package in front of me right here. Now, he didn't even announce it. It just showed up, shipped here. I saw his name on the package. I was like, hmm, what do we got? Hmm, what's going to be inside the box, right? I was curious. So I'm not going to lie, I took a little peek, and I just don't even know how this man pulled this off. So... Let me backtrack, give you a little bit of history real quick. A while back on the channel, you may or may not have seen this video. This guy showed up. Oh! Whoa. It's Unbox Therapy Coke. thought I'd see the day. I, I don't even feel like I could drink this. Looks like there's one more thing in here. <laughs> the custom Unbox Therapy Coca-Cola. I didn't request it, I didn't order it, it just popped up here and I was blown away. I was, I was genuinely speechless for a moment when I cracked the package and saw my face on a Coca-Cola bottle. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up now, because ever since then, I've kind of been paying a little bit of attention to the world of unusual Coca-Cola products. And so something came up in my news feed that I ended up talking about on the Lou Later show downstairs. And that thing is what's in this box. An incredibly rare, well, let's just, I think these are some of the most exclusive Coca-Cola products ever made. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Check out the packaging, you know that it's special. I also happen to know this came from far, a far away land. It said Coca-Cola East. And then we go ahead and crack it open. Oh, baby, I, I believe, okay, look, I found out about these when they first launched. It was a whole kind of scavenger hunt to track these things down in Singapore, there was an incredibly limited number of them. Now, no, you're looking at this right now, you have no backstory. These are the first bottles ever with OLED displays inside of them. These lightsabers are about to glow. But just before I squeeze them, I have to tell you, the only way that people acquired these things was if they were able to answer certain riddles and figure out which stores they were gonna pop up in. Incredibly limited edition. I did a little uh, research before this video started and these things are going for a premium. Some even suggesting they could be worth like a thousand bucks. Now I don't know if they're gonna glow in this lighting, so I may have to turn the lights off. I think you just squeeze it, hang on. You do! Oh, ho, 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 that's too cool. That is OLED inside of the label. Now I noticed something, I was just playing with this. The other one I think is malfunctioning or out of battery. I only got Kylo Ren. Ray, not so much luck here. Now of course the reason this is exciting to me is because of what it means for the future. This is kind of the initial phase of a potential future where we're seeing more and more OLED products in signage, in foldable, in labels, and print publications possibly. You could imagine this stuff showing up in your daily life, a beverage fridge with g glowing, beaming aspects. It's very science fiction, it's very Blade Runner, so it caught my attention straight away and it makes for a very special, limited, coveted Coca-Cola bottle. There's people that collect these bottles, keep them for ages, especially the limited ones. And it's hard to imagine a bottle more special than this one with a light up OLED label. Now, seeing as how this one over here is not working, I think it would be interesting to cut this one and see what's going on inside. It looks like it's glued right over here. I'm gonna try to be gentle because I, I really don't know where the electronics are. Okay. Whoa. 
there's more going on than I originally imagined. So it looks like you have these various uh, touch sensitive sections. So you could actually squeeze the bottle in multiple locations, not just on one spot. So that's why this one, it's so responsive. You can pick it up anywhere. So it's responsive to a number of different potential touch sections on the side. Oh, it has a gel on it. I never noticed that. So there's a blue gel placed into the label and the rest of the label is blacked out so that all of the light that's generated from that bendable OLED floats through the actual lightsaber. But I still don't know where the battery is. Is it hidden under the buttons? Yeah, so this section in the middle kind of strikes me as the display portion. So I am going to attempt to look under the hood in that area. And I'm gonna have to slice this tape over here to do that. I think, now obviously don't do this to yours. Don't try this at home, but it's actually kind of incredible how small these components are. It's sort of translucent. You can kind of see through it here. So my official guess here is that the batteries are probably housed together with these switches. Coca-Cola Singapore has harnessed the flexibility of OLED displays to wrap special edition sugar-free Coke bottles with light up glowing lightsabers. German OLED marketing company Inuru created the special lightsaber label. The battery powered OLED bottles can light up about 500 times. That might have something to do with my malfunction on the Ray version of the bottle. But you'll need to ration your lightsaber action. The process for obtaining one of these special bottles was complex. Fans had to solve a riddle revealed on Instagram and Facebook to track down the secret locations of gatekeepers near 7-Eleven stores. There they would get a special pass and then redeem that pass to buy a bottle. In total, there were 8,000 bottles and the hunt took place on weekends until December 22nd. Two things going for them. Not only are these bottles limited and collectible for Coca-Cola fans, but they're also limited and collectible for Star Wars fans and tech fans. For me, this is the very first piece of consumable OLED tech that I've ever owned or seen for that matter. Wrapped in plastic, this is on eBay for $800. For me, the main attraction is this type of technology making its way into something as thin as a label. And when you're holding the bottle, it really feels like a regular label. Tech, beverage, merging, I just had to show this to you guys. Shout out to Coca-Cola in Singapore, and of course, Willie Do, because even though he's trapped at home for the time being, not coming into work, he's still working, looking for cool stuff, and getting it over here to the studio.